Hello, good morning everybody. We are in uh, Flores Island and uh, we took some days to visit the land. Uh, we spent the night in an amazing place, a guest house uh, called uh, Sunrise, uh, owned by Jeff, super good guide. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Sunrise Homestay. And he took us this morning to see the sunrise in the rice pad. Pretty amazing, super beautiful. And uh, today we're gonna visit a, a waterfall too uh, in the afternoon. So I hope you will enjoy. Yeah, the wrinkles they are here, they are so beautiful with that. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good scratch, scratch. Mm -hmm. Big ears. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so amazing here. We got up at five, half an hour before sunrise and hiked up to the top of the rice paddies and incredible. I mean, like I said in the last or a couple of videos ago, I've never really seen rice paddies. And just the, the symmetry and the, its architecture really in a natural scale because it just follows the contours of the mountains. And when the sun comes up, as you see in this beautiful drone footage, the, the sun reflects off the water in the rice paddies and it's incredible. I'm just flying over it going, oh, I only had one battery left on the drone, so this is all really in one take what you see, but wow, incredible, it blows me away. I could stay here all day and film this stuff. Cruising around the motorbikes and we just stopped on the top of this hill. This guy here makes bakso sort of soup here and uh, yeah they've, they've got uh, alcohol, homemade alcohol up here so they're offering us a few things. Pretty cool. Beautiful view though, all the step gardens down there and we're on our way to the waterfall by the way and uh, we've been pretty lost for about two hours now but yeah you find some cool stuff when you're lost so it's all good. So in this green container there is um, palm wine. That's what they've been giving us up here to go oh, with our oh, bakso oh. soup. 
It's pretty good, huh? Yep, yeah, pretty good. Kind of a bit sour, but super, super so good taste. Yeah. Yeah. Palm wine. They, we didn't really know we were asking in language <laughs> difficulties, but they pointed out the palm tree down the hill where, that they make it from. So yeah. So we finally found this waterfall. We've been looking for it for the best part of five hours now. But it's pretty cool. We found some cool stuff along the way. And these are our guides to the waterfall. Rio? Dino. 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 Yeah. Diaz. Yes. 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 Okay. When we were parking the motorbike, they come running over and asked if they could come with us. So it's pretty cool to get some local guides and maybe learn some language at the same time. <laughs> this is really not an often visited waterfall, I think. There is like zero track even. These little kids are just running down here. Whoop, but I just fell over. But uh, there's no track. It's pretty crazy. And we got a bunch more uh, guides as we started walking, they all started joining us. Okay, so we nearly made it back to La Bombaggio and the boat. Uh, we're about 20 kilometers away. And as we were coming along a straight, luckily, I heard psh, yeah, and the tire, rear tire exploded. Luckily it didn't explode uh, around a corner because we would have eaten shit, but yeah, so we're uh, on the side of the road. Yeah, I tried to call the rental place, but yeah, no one picks up the number. And there's been a couple of fix it sort of on the side of the road mechanic places, but they're all closed and not coming back till tonight. So yeah, we might be in for a bit of a shit afternoon. It's only two o'clock though, so we've got a couple of hours and maybe, I don't know, we're sort of hoping maybe a pickup truck stops beside us and gives us a ride or something. But yeah, we'll let you know what happens later. So we are uh Roadside. Um, the family over there, they they are really friendly. Even if they don't have the guy to repair the the scooter, they invite us to have lunch. So we have an update. We have progress. My friend Rasta, who you saw in last week's video, Hello, morning. Then okay. gave us a ride in the dinghy to the port in Hub in La Bobaggio. I called him, and he came up here with a mechanic. They've taken the wheel off and they've gone back down to find a new tyre and put it on. And then they should bring it back here and we should put it all back together and we should be good to go. Cost about 300,000 rupiah, so it's like 30 bucks. And uh, yeah, they don't have to pay something for the mechanic, but yeah. Looks like we might get back to the boat tonight. We'll talk later. Okay, we made it back to La Bombaggio just now, dropped the scooter off, it was all good. We're both pretty tired, dusty, super sunburned actually as well. But it was a pretty cool couple of days, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we'll be back on the boat again 
and yeah we'll get some more sailing videos coming your way but we really hope you enjoy these sort of excursions off the boat as well because we really do it's you know one of the reasons why we on the boat is to get off the boat and go and see things on land as well anyway thanks very much again to all your patrons there's two new ones come on board since since uh, last week um, highlighted you guys in the in the credits in the end um, couldn't do without you all real real pleasure to make videos for you and I know you're liking them because you're commenting a lot and everything so uh, yeah thanks very much for uh, keeping food in our bellies and uh, the boat floating and we'll see you again next week bye bye, bye, -bye.